Gamers, welcome back to another episode. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Austria, where we are in a war I don't want to be in right now. So let's continue with the game. And with this war I don't want to be in right now, uh, which is over here in in our good friends Brazilian land, Brazilian land, where it's most likely they're gonna lose. And yeah. I kind of want Brazil to lose because they kind of messed me over by making me go into this war, which was not really my idea, may I add. So, yeah, we're not going to help him at all. But anyways, what we should do, though, is start building up a military because uh, that's what we do as a mighty nation of Austria. Build like two of these guys. Uh, this is... Oh, yeah, if you guys want to generally know, this is how I usually generally conduct my troops get two engineers and then actually let's not make some southern artillery actually let's make some tanks yeah this is the age of tanks now now we go tankish battles Ooh, tanks man there's gonna be some good battles here let's go right here 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 oh oops no we don't want these in Asia I mean we do want these in Asia now that they can actually build those stuff in Asia there we go one two three we just need three. There we go. Alright, 21 unit. Let's put the rallying point right here. Alright, and let's put the rallying point for all ships right here. Alright. I feel happy again. And apparently one of our factories closed down. It's one of our armor... It's one of our gunmen factories. Why do you guys never succeed? I, like, really want you guys to succeed. Like, you guys are literally... Like, the places I want to be filled up first. I don't care about the rest of the places. They're my places to be filled up first. Anyways, right now I have a really good tax system set up. Everyone's being taxed equally and fairly. Which is what I like. I like when people are being taxed about the same everywhere and anywhere. Uh, and I'm also liking the fact that we do have... We do have a somewhat strong... Well... We do have a somewhat strong fighting stance against uh, France, which France keeps annoying me in right now in Spain. And dividends, Navy supremacy! Yeah, let's get our airplanes, get our airplanes in the, in the mind, and yeah. If, by the way, if I do sound a little bit like I'm not making much sense right now, I'm basically really, really tired. Because it's like the first day back from like, uh, well for you guys it might be a little bit later, but for me it's like a one day back from like one of my major breaks and so I am insanely tired just insanely tired and like anything I do right now is just exhausting Brazil oh my goodness uh, you know if I honestly think about this I could probably win this for Brazil I probably could but I really don't want to the only way I might go get into this war is if Italy accepted the crisis all for white peace Oh, great. What did you do? Germany, what did you do? You got me into something big. What did you do? Oh, gosh. No. Uh, shit, slow. <laughs> I didn't want this yet. I wanted to do this when... <sighs> okay, fine. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this properly. Okay? You better not back out this time, Germany. Okay. So, since now we are at war with uh, our good friends, the uh, Frenchies. Good good job, Germany. I didn't want to be at war with the French this soon. I'm going to call in a couple people that we're going to need to win this war. First off, we're going to call in our good friends, the uh, Spanish. Because the Spanish are going to be able to put pressure onto the French, which is what we need. Next, we're going to need to do is we're going to need to defend that little gap right there in our... In our lines because I'm not really gonna be attacking most of the time. I'm just gonna let the Germans attack because they're Germany and they do a lot better than me. Next we need to also call in all of our allies because they just they'll join in in almost anything we do. Great. Alright, uh Bulgaria, I need you guys to come in. Great, thank you. Uh Greece, you guys can come in. Would you guys do anything? Probably not. Um in terms of men, we have to be oh shoot. I have to kind of look out now, now that we have, uh, cypher ships coming out, coming out everywhere. Uh, it's actually not a safe rallying point anymore right here. So let's just not put that as a rallying point. Let's see, how many ships do we have? 
We have 17 big ships, probably Man of Wars, yep. And lots of mortars, which is good, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to handle any of the uh, new armies being built. And I wanted, to, I wanted to spend just a little bit more time building up. So, anyways, that's not good. Definitely not good. I was also hoping maybe we could call in America, too, but that's not good. I don't want to call in Persia, because Persia won't be very useful in terms of anything. But, yeah, anyone else we need to call in? We could call in Ukraine. And, you know what, I might call in Ukraine after a little bit, but in the beginning, I kind of want them not in the war, because they kind of prevent, uh, our good friends, the, uh, Russians from actually invading. Okay, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna see if we can kind of stab the French in the back here. And, yeah, we don't have a very strong front right now, in terms of manpower. I'm actually gonna spread myself a little bit thin here, but... Uh, we should be able to just at least... We're just gonna help the Spanish out just a little bit. Just a little bit. By the way, you guys go out here. Go destroy that fleet right there. So that we have... We have literally 64... Uh, transports. Wow. Hey, 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 Russia, don't do that. Oh my goodness. This is an epic battle of... I'm going to lose. Oh gosh. Hey, guys. Oh, yes! Okay, never mind. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, you guys, get back inside here. So, who joined them? Who joined them? Who joined them? Who joined them? Wait, Russia, did, did Russia become a great power again? Yes! Okay, actually, this is a good thing, then. Okay, you know why? Because we needed a great war for this to be actually meaningful. And a lot of people are like, wait, a lot of people are probably wondering, wait, James, what do you mean by that? We basically needed a great war so that this would actually be worth our time and effort to fight. Because if it was just a regular war, this would be pretty uh, stupid. By the way, you attack like the worst spot. That's I have really heavily guarded troops down here. I don't. I'm pretty sure you could probably beat me though in Africa, because you have lots of troops spread out everywhere in Africa. But most of the time, I should be able to beat you in Africa. Oh my goodness, that's a 72 stack, 60 stack, 63 stack. Let's go destroy this 20 stack right here. We have a 33 stack that we could probably deal with. But yeah, this right here I'm worried about really severely. But anyways, um, now since it's a great war, what I want to do is I want this... Since we have now, you know, excellent time to add war goals and, you know, do different things of that nature. We could do, like, dismantle nation. We could liberate countries. We could do all kinds of stuff. Which is what I kind of want to do, because we could definitely... In terms of expansion, we could definitely expand to Marshall, which doesn't really have many, like, great provinces. Or what we could do in the more logical sense is, and I wanted to do this for about an episode now, is make the mighty nation of, uh, of, uh, what is it called, uh, Occitania, I think it's called? I, I'm pretty sure it's called Occitania, but I'm trying to find it. Occitania. And I wish, I wish you could sort this by actual alphabetical order, because this is like, this list is so spread out, it makes it so hard for anyone to find anything. Or maybe just like a search widget, so you could be like, okay, I want to free this nation. Occitania. Okay, good. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking what we should do. I mean, okay, I'm going to have to go really slowly through every single one until I find this. Uh, Manchuria, Wolof, Cat Catalonia, Madagascar. Ah, uh, seriously, where is it? Catalonia, Congo. Okay, let's go up. One, two, that. If you guys see it, please tell me. Um, let's see, Luna, Logo, Luba, Kubi, Kana, Kabat. Uh, a lot of African provinces. Uh, Ghana, Ghana, Kosaka, LA, Ghana. Where is it? Liberate country. Yes, I got the right one. Okay. And I want to liberate Occitania. Is that still... Wait, what happened to Occitania? Oh no! Is it not possible anymore to release Occitania? Oh no! What did... What? Wait, what? No, what did you French people do? Why did you destroy the beautiful nation of Occitania? Oh, you... You evil Frenchies! That... That just makes me sad now! 
That just makes me sad. Now we can't make Occitania. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to figure out some other nations and stuff to do. Yeah. I guess we could do a Wolf of <laughs> No. Not gonna do that. Uh, I definitely like the idea of this. Since it gives me no infamy. Why not? Let's just... Let's just get that started. And let's see if anyone wants to join in. We're basically... I'm safe right here. There's no way in, in all that they're going to be able to break through this front. Um, the Germans should have an easy time of defeating any type of uh, Russian army. Just because the Russians are so spread out due to Ukraine not being on their side anymore. So they should be fine. Uh, with a Ukraine goal, uh, most likely what I want to do is liberate Poland. Or if I can't liberate Poland, liberate Congressional Poland. Although, I would prefer to liberate Poland, because Poland is a little bit more powerful than uh, Congressional Poland. It seems like I can't actually do that. Uh, so, most likely what I want to do for this side, like I said, is liberate Poland. And, let's see. With that, that should actually give us a decent amount of population. Though, I could, since now, since my people now accept Polish as a, uh, you know... Uh, majority, we could actually, like, take over some of this land, you know, take over, like, this land right about here. Yeah, you know what, that actually sounds like a good idea to me. So let's take, let's just take all this land right here, and then we'll probably make some kind of buffer state right here, that way we can keep everything good, but, yeah, I mean, since now, since we accept the Polish, my, we accept the Polish minority, I mean, literally, we could just conquer the entire country. It doesn't even matter that we have to make a puppet region anymore. Besides, having all of Garcia will definitely help you. So West Garcia and what's the other place? Madova. So that's the two places I want from Russia. So let's see. Free allied cores. Uh, release puppets. No, acquire state. I want Russian West Garcia. Yes. This is probably going to give me like 3.4 infamy or something like that. Okay. And then to America, I want to finally... Oh my goodness, no America! Okay, I don't want to be in this war! Stop me! What? I don't want to be in this war! Oh my goodness, I don't even care! S just one of you guys end this war down there in Argentina. I don't care. I don't want my relationship to be ruined because of some stupid... Su oh my goodness! Uh, do it, whatever. Uh, say whatever. I it's not even that big of a nation, so I'm not even going to like... Com comment, but seriously, like, oh, by the way, uh, forgot to call you in, guys, sorry. <laughs> forgot to call you in, Portugal. Portugal is usually one of our good friends that usually helps us out with invasions. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna casually try to, like, destroy France and do whatever we can to try to expand our interests. But yeah, since we do accept the Polish, I mean, we really don't have to be kind about you know, wanting to expand into Polish lands. Really, we could do it. Uh, with the Germans, though, we have a little bit of problem with them because they aren't exactly as powerful as our good friends of uh, the other side. But at the same time, they, they also have a little bit of an advantage, which is they have me, who are great movers, I should say. And we're going to be moving into a lot of land here very soon. We're just crushing through... The entire, like, lower parts. Uh, oh. Do we really need... Nah, let's let's get some prestige. We could get some prestige right now. Oh, you cheaters. You cannot go through. Okay, Sweden, if I had the opportunity to, I would so annex you. Like, seriously, you are a useless person to have on your team. Like, seriously, just useless. Uh, but yeah. This, though... This honestly is no... We're just going to be destroying France from the other side in. I mean, if we move fast enough, we could probably destroy France's uh, uh, main fight. I mean, they're going to be trying to send most of the soldiers over here, which is cool and all, but uh, that's, really where not they, that's really where they shouldn't be worried about because really the place they should be worried about is over here where like most of my men are uh, expertly attacking. Actually, I'm going to need to divide this unit up because... Half of it's gonna need to go right there, half of it's gonna need to go right there, half of it's gonna need to go right there. There we go. 
And yeah, look at this. Look at all these men that are moving in at a rapid rate. I mean, now they're starting to get some... Oh, that was a battle, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> well, there goes all my ships. I was building up in the last couple few hundred years. Ah, oh, man. Okay. And there's my only army over here. Okay, the best way I can settle this is I'm probably not going to be able to defend any of this land. So the best way to do this is to, like, go a really weird, awkward pathing to I get to my soldiers over here. Because getting to my soldiers over here, we actually have a chance to hold off any Frenchies. But, yeah, I, I don't know they're all going to die if I don't do anything. <laughs> okay, and then... Places like over here, I don't think I have to worry about over here. Oh yeah, the Russians are over there. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, the Russians are everywhere. But Germany seems to be handling the Russians pretty well over there. We're handling the Frenchies over here. I mean, the Frenchies are not going to be able to break through anything. Even if they send that 77 death stack in the mountains with me defending, that is going to die. Oh my goodness, you just sent your men onto like the death walk. I'm gonna go send more men in just in case. But yeah, this should not be able to win. I mean, at the very least, it's gonna tie it up for a little bit, but I'll be able to come back. And I keep forgetting that they have access to Sweden, and so they somehow get access to my entire land. And see, now they're losing so many men. But now I added my men. Now we're basically winning an entire war. And we're quickly crushing through the uh, French theater. I'm basically help. I'm basically helping the uh, uh, these guys win, which is what I want to do because I want them to win. And Russia on this side is probably needing more help, and I probably should offer more help. That's the thing. I'm being I'm being so lackadaisical when it comes to like this. Oh my goodness, we are losing. Why? Because of battles. Goodness gracious, Germany, you better not, for the love of Benji, you better not lose this entire war because of your stupidity, okay? Especially considering I'm winning this war for you. Oh, what the? Why am I losing like a thousand troops all of a sudden, just out of the blue? A thousand troops are now starting to die every single day. Yeah, get out of there, you stupid Frenchies. Yeah, go crush the stupid French. Because now the French are now, the French are now thinking they're all big in britches. Because now they won a couple battles. Go destroy them. Yeah, let's go destroy the French. Everyone on the French killing train. Do, do, do. All right, let's go link up these guys. Go link up these guys. We're going to create a kind of a thin front right about here. The, the good thing about this, though, is that we have basically divided, conquered all of lower France in a very quick amount of succession, lowering their chances of having a huge army to boast and to attack us. Now, over here back in Brazil, this war that I don't want to be in. Oh my goodness. I would love to peace out. I would love to get out of this war right now. I don't even want to be in this war. Okay, you know what? They don't even know what they want, even. Uh, that's such an annoying war right there. I'm not even going to deny it. That's such an annoying war. So, anyways, let's continue on. We have a couple different battles happening. Spain's winning a couple of those battles. I'm getting just mad at France. That's all I'm doing. I'm just like, France, you're annoying me right now. You don't you don't want to annoy your nice, lovable dictator. Because I am really scary when I'm annoyed. Like, seriously, I don't care about anyone when I'm annoyed. Send all my men right there. Send half of my army to go that way. We're going to start cleaning up our borders a little bit. Because this is annoying. Annoying to no end. But the good thing is... Like I said, the good thing about all this is that we basically have an immovable front, and the Spanish have basically got a big head start on the French. Like, look at that. We basically got all of lower France sacked, and they haven't even really made it through the Maginot line yet. So, the Germans are doing a good job. We're doing a good job. This is all a good job. Down here, though, I am a little bit worried because I, I feel like I, I won't pay attention to my soldiers at some point until they'll all just die. But hopefully that won't happen. I, hopefully, I'm, I'm not holding out hopes. Let's see, and once I can add another war goal, I'm going to take the last little bit of Poland. That way, I can make Poland at any point, but I also have complete and other access to Poland. That also gives the Germans a little bit better... Oh, sorry, people, we got 
I had to move around a little bit, so if I sound a little bit closer, that's the reason why. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.